This example problem focuses on the parallelogram law. The problem statement reads, resolve vector f into components along the u and v axes using the parallelogram law. Here's a force vector f equal to 500 newtons. The orientation of the u and v axes are shown relative to the vector. I've set up my engineering paper with the given and find information. Now I've got to consider how I'm going to solve this problem. I'm going to use my knowledge of geometry to find some additional angles in this figure. First of all, I know that this angle here will be 80 degrees because it's a supplementary angle to the 100 degrees. I also don't know this angle between the u and v axes is 25 degrees. Now I will apply the parallelogram law by offsetting the u-axis at the head of my f vector. Next I will offset the v-axis to the head of my f vector. And now I have a parallelogram drawn. And you see that there are two sides of the parallelogram, two triangles. I can choose to use either one. Uh, I can visualize what the force components are going to look like along those axes. Here I've drawn them uh, for both triangles. Along the v-axis we've got the green vector and along the u-axis we have the red vector. Notice the direction of those vectors in order to get from the tail of the f-vector to the head of the f-vector. Notice that in both triangle options the direction of the v-axis vector and the u-axis vectors are the same. I'm going to use the upper left-hand triangle. I've recreated the figure on my engineering paper. Now let's do a little bit more geometry here. I know this angle here is going to be 80 degrees because it is an interior alternate angle with this 80 degree angle here. I know this angle is 25 degrees because it is a corresponding angle with this 25 degree angle shown here. And I know this angle here is also 25 degrees because it is an interior alternate angle with this 25 degree angle here. And I can do a quick check. For the shaded triangle, the three angles should add up to 180 degrees. 75 degrees plus 25 is 100 plus 80 more is 180 degrees. So it looks like I'm probably right. I'm going to label the green vector as F sub V because it's on the v-axis, and I'm going to label the red vector f sub u because it's on the u-axis. And my original vector f, I'm going to note, is 500 newtons in magnitude. Now I can find the f sub v and f sub u vector magnitudes using the law of sines. The magnitude of vector f sub v divided by the sine of its opposite angle, 80 degrees, is going to be equal to the magnitude of vector f, 500 newtons, divided by the sine of its opposite angle, 25 degrees. Moving sine 80 to the other side of the equation, I can solve for f sub v. I get 1165 newtons. Using three significant figures, I get 1.17 kilonewtons. Now, I did that step in my head. I moved the decimal place over three places to the left and changed units from newtons to kilonewtons. I can solve for the magnitude of F sub u using the same method. The opposite angle for vector F sub u is the 75 degree angle shown here. Solving for F sub u, I get 1.14 kilonewtons as the magnitude. Notice those are just the magnitudes. If I want to get the direction of the vector, I would refer to the figure. And we're done.